Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to describe a sequence that shows that two two-dimensional figures are congruent using a series of transformations. And so if you recall, the transformations that we've studied are rotation, reflection, translation, and dilation. And uh, since this video or this lesson is specifically on congruent figures, uh, we won't need the dilation. Dilation is for similar figures, if you remember, also. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see, uh, let's say we need to see what transformations can make this image transform into uh, the prime image over here. Uh, so first I'm going to look at kind of the orientation of the letters and the shape. And I'm going to see that here the A and the B are on top, and here the A and the B are also on top, and the C and D are on the bottom, and the C and D are on the bottom. So that makes me think that it's probably not a reflection over the x-axis, right? Uh, if it was a reflection over the x-axis, it would seem like the C and the D would be on top. Uh, also, I can kind of tell that it's not a rotation 90 degrees in either direction, just based on uh, how the points are uh, oriented. And uh, I do also notice, though, that here C and B are on the left side, and, and here B and C are on the right side. So that makes me first think that perhaps I should do a reflection over the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to reflect this image over the y-axis, and my new A is here, and my new B is here, and my D is here, and my C would be here. So, of course, I hope that you're using a straight edge, but for the sake of time, this is my new image now. Now I need to get from here to here. So, first off, we have done a uh, reflection over the Y axis, right? We reflected the image over the Y axis. Now next, to go from here to here, it looks like it's all oriented to the same. There's an A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So this looks just like a slide, so I need to go up one, two, three, four, five, and up and down is the Y axis, so that's going to be a translation of Y plus five, two, three, four, five, yep. And then x is to the right one, so x plus 1. So up 5 and right 1, and it looks like I will get to this image. Uh, and this, There's the translation there. Okay, let me reset and let's try one more example. All right, I have this little cheat sheet for me here. This will be my original image, A, B, C, D, and I'm going to move it to A, B, C, D. Okay, please draw that neatly. I'm trying to get this all in one take, so uh, bear with me here. Okay, so now we're going to do another example, still trying to find how we move from this original image uh, to here using a series of transformations. Again, they're congruent images, same uh, size, so probably won't need a dilation. Uh, but you notice if I see the orientation of A and B, it's going sideways here, and here it's going up and down. So that kind of makes me think that there's some kind of a uh, rotation happening here. And actually, I think it's pretty, pretty clear to see that first we could rotate it uh, perhaps 90 degrees counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, 
In previous videos or lessons, you should have already learned how to make a rotation. Uh, so I'm not going to go into that in too much detail here. I'm just now where the complexity is doing more than one at a time. So my A would be here if I rotate it 90 degrees. My uh, D is going to be, let's see, down 4 and over 3. So 4, 3, that should be my D. Um, B was 1, 4, so 1, 4 is my B. And C is 2, 3, so 2, 3. Okay, again, that was kind of quick, but uh, please review how to do rotations if, if you're still rusty on that. So I've rotated this now um, 90 degrees. That was counterclockwise. And now I still need to move from this image to this image. It looks like they are oriented the same way. The B is on top and the C is in the middle and so forth. So it looks like it's a simple translation. So I'm going to translate uh, up. 1 would be y plus 1. And left, 1, uh, 2, 4, 5 is x minus 5. And that looks like that would put me 1, 5, yep. And I'll do the same with all of the coordinates in that gives me. So how did we get from this image to this image? Well, we rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then we translated it x minus 5, x plus 1. And that is how you show a sequence uh, between two two-dimensional figures are congruent using a series of transformations. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.